What's up guys? It's Chris, Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from my garage. This is the second video in a week. I'm pretty proud of that. I found some time to do another video. And uh, you know, it's honestly coming down to like the people that are watching me, some of my fans. And uh, they're actually commenting, like my wish is coming true, people are commenting on my videos. And it's really cool because not only are they commenting saying, hey man, good job, but they're commenting things like, hey, you know, these videos are really cool, they're insightful and they're actually motivating me to like go out there and hustle and make some good side money. So that's awesome. Um, so let me start off the little bona fide hustler segment here with um, kind of like a shout out to the people that have actually, uh, you know, reached out and said, you know, either good job or hey man, you're a hustler just like me, this is awesome. It's good to see people are doing this on YouTube. Um, so shout out to Urban Diggers. If you're out there, love your videos, I do watch them. And um, yeah, thanks for the comments. Um, also, um, Callum Reeves, I think he's a guy in Canada. He's a really uh, kind of, he's probably been hustling for a while, but he's very good, he's up in Canada. Um, he always finds time to comment on my stuff. So you know what, shout out to Callum Reeves. You love you out there, man, we're cool. Um, and then let's also uh, make a shout out to um, this guy, what is his name? Um, Chillis2585, I believe. Chillis2585 just basically came to me and said, hey man, I love your videos. You know, um, I came across my first members only jacket the other day, which is awesome. He goes, had it not been for you, I don't even know if I would have found it. Um, so cool, I'm glad you got the members only jacket. That's amazing, man. You're gonna find many more of those, and then you're gonna find some pretty rare ones too. Um, for me, members only jackets are pretty good in the fall and the winter on my antique booth, but if I find, if I find like a leather one or something like that, man, that stuff goes right to eBay, because you can get people just having bidding wars over these little like, you know, members only leather jackets, all right? So um, shout out to all you guys. Thanks for commenting, and I still want more comments, and I'll comment on your stuff too. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot. You know, it really does actually mean a lot. So um, let's talk about the show today. Um, I'm going to discuss with you some stuff I found this week. First of all, this morning garage sales were actually pretty terrible. We had a really, really, really um, bad storm yesterday come through town, and uh, it was just like kind of flood and like I don't know. It was just a bunch of crap. And I think people were thinking, you know, we're not just we're just not going to have our garage sales. So it really thinned out quite heavily this morning. Like people, I think they originally wanted to make garage sales and yard sales. We're just like, man, it's just too much mud and it's just soppy, you know, nasty yard, and they didn't want to do it. So um, there were still some, and I was able to still make a pretty good hustle here and there, but it was for the most part, it was kind of a piss poor morning. So you know what? But like I said, you go out not expecting anything, okay? I knew that when there's usually a rainstorm and there's a Saturday after that, then there's typically like pawn shops won't put their bikes outside, and typically um, you'll see a lot less garage shows than normal. So, um, that's what I saw this morning. It was not like a huge surprise, but yeah, it kind of sucked. Okay, so we're going to discuss some of the things I found this week and some of the things I found today. And um, we're also going to uh, wrap up the segment talking about this right here, which is um, when you make your money as a hustler. It's always when you buy the item. It's not really when you sell it. It's when you buy the item. So you have to be really, really, really well trained on how to like, you know, what are the tips and like, what do I do? You know, like, hey, Chris, help me out. What should I do when I buy the item? How do I get the best deal? Because when you get the best deal, guess what? You're sitting on something that's like a gold mine, pretty much, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that today. All right, so let's talk about, let's get right to it. Let's talk about some stuff I found today. You know, watching other people's hustler videos on the internet about video games, I'm not really a huge video game dude, except for NES kind of games. But you know, all you other guys out there that are hustling video games, I start watching your videos and I start hustling these little video games right here, okay? So I got like a whole bunch, well I got five of them, PS3, for 10 bucks, and two or three of them are pretty well-known names. And we'll see what happens with this. I might just take these to a GameStop and see what happens. Um, but I might just put them on Craigslist too. And I might just play them, you know? But after I play them, I'm gonna sell them. So um, I bought a bunch of these. I mean, it's dirt cheap. I'm gonna take the risk. Um, here is something interesting. These things are amazing, okay? To me, these are like license plates, and these are just like home runs. It's a board and crate from like way back in the day. People love this stuff in their houses to like put newspapers in, dog toys, you know, just leave it in the corner of a room. It's so cool and it's like totally one of a kind and it's very strong. So um, if you ever find stuff like this, man, I would say all the way up to about 15, 20 bucks. I bought this one for 10 this morning. In my antique booth, this is going to sell for around 30 to 50 bucks all day long, okay? Let's talk about this. I want to talk to you about something I'm not going to hustle. But as a hustler, I'm very careful with my money, okay? Which means if I find opportunities to actually spend my money um, and get like half off anything that I want kind of thing, I will buy stuff like this. I mean, you can't hustle car wash crap, right? But I know I have a car and I'm gonna need it one day, so I mark this thing down to five bucks. It's got all this stuff inside. Hey, I'm gonna buy it, okay? Because I know I'm bound to buy some of this car wash crap later on at full price somewhere else. 
if you find stuff like this, it doesn't matter whether it's 409 or if it's Ajax or if it's anything or if it's, you know, anything else. I mean, if you need it and you use it on a, you know, semi-regular basis, then buy it, okay? Um, now, this was like a home run right here. I actually forgot to put this in the video from last week, but this is one of the coolest things I found last week at garage sales and stuff. <clears throat> this is an old postage box from who knows when, maybe 60s or 70s. It's amazing, right? All this stuff works. There's no change inside, obviously. There's no stamps either, but it's super cool. And I'm going to probably keep this one forever, but that's only because I care about it. Now, if you guys come across something like this and you buy it for 15 bucks, which is what I bought it for, and you happen to have you know, an eBay account or an antique booth to move it, you're going to be getting 100 to 150 for something like this all day long, honestly. So uh, look for stuff like this. It's just really cool. Check that out. You know, it's amazing. And it has a little lock up there, but guess what? I picked it so I can get inside this thing. Um, and there actually was a quarter inside too. That was really interesting. All right, so here's something um, It's a little odd, okay? Everyone knows what this is. If you're a guy, you know exactly what this thing is, right? This is screaming like Leonardo Donatello Ninja Turtle kind of stuff, and ninjas and all, you know, in general. Um, this is a grappling hook. I bought it for like five bucks. It's cheapest grappling hook on eBay is like $36 shit. So I bought it just because it's cool and uh, someone's going to like it. Of course, I'm going to have to put a big disclaimer or disclosure saying it's pretty dangerous. So, you know, if you buy it, buy it with caution. Same, same kind of stuff I put when I have uh, knives on eBay and stuff like that. So, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks, but I mean, for five bucks, I can't lose. All right, here's a game called Rubik's Race. It's not, it's based upon the Rubik's Cube, except you race against your opponent <clears throat> to build this exact thing right here with your little shape-shifting tiles, okay? This game I got for like a dollar, and uh, I believe it sells anywhere between 30 and 40 bucks on eBay. So, this thing's amazing, Rubik's Race. It's really cool, my brother and I play it, he just spanks my ass every single time on this game. But you know what, it's just cool, and it like screams 1970, I don't even know what the year is on this thing, but it's super old. All right, so let's talk about this. Uh, this is kind of a box. Okay, I got to give all the props to my girlfriend on this one. So not only has she <laughs> stickered this stuff up ready for our antique booth, um, but it's all in a box and it's all kind of stuff that I wouldn't hustle. But you know what? I see why she hustles it because we make money on this stuff. She just has the eye for this stuff. Um, but look at this stuff. This is like from the 70s, maybe 60s sugar container. And there's a flower one in there and like all kinds of other stuff. Um, but yeah, this cost. We got a bunch of we got a box full of these kind of like jars, bottle things, for about five bucks, right? In our antique mall, we're gonna sell it for twenty, and it will sell. So you can hustle, you know, your balls off for something like this. Um, it's really easy. Um, also, in that deal was like stuff, you know, baking stuff, aluminum. It's really cool. This costs us like fifty cents. In our antique mall, we can move this for twenty-four bucks. So you can kind of see how the money just piles up. And you don't have to take huge risks either. So if you're a smart hustler, you can get things done. Um, and this came from like a garage sale, I believe, last week. These are just some cool eclectic boots that she bought, <clears throat> I believe, for like five bucks. Let's see what she's got them marked at. Forty bucks right here. So five bucks. She wore them like three times. She's gonna sell them for forty bucks. They don't really they fit her, but she just doesn't like the way she really looks in them. But hey, look, someone's gonna like this, okay? I'm not a I'm not a girl. But I can see, you know, how chicks like prance around this thing. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's, I like it, okay? In my hometown, this totally flies. So, all right. Now, um, today was looking really bleak with garage sales. And so, you know, I used garage sale rover. Thank you, garage sale rover, because you actually made me about uh, $150 or $200 today, just like that. Um, and I usually don't believe in garage sale rover. It's an app for your iPhone and your Android. But today it really saved me a bunch and actually made me a bunch of money. So, here is what I bought with Garage Sale Rover. This is a Juno 1. It's a Roland keyboard, okay? Roland keyboard, a Juno 1. It's from back in the late 80s, okay? And um, it works, it's awesome. Cheapest Juno 1 anywhere in the nation is 150 bucks on Craigslist. And um, since I live in a very music oriented town, I wouldn't be surprised if I moved this thing for 250 bucks, maybe 300. So, that's what you can get. Don't lose hope. If your day's sucking with garage sales and yard sales, you know what? Whip out garage sale rover. If it's sucking with that too, then go to you know thrift stores. If it's sucking with that, go to pawn shops. You know, but just never give up because right around the corner is a chance where you can put 10 bucks in a Juno one, and you're probably going to extract about 150 to 300 out. Okay, so this pretty much made my day right here, and I only went hustling for like two hours this morning. So 
that's what I did this morning. All right, so keep a positive attitude, okay? Never let yourself down and always know it's going to work out. Hustling is a game of numbers. It's no different than any kind of sales or anything like that, okay? Um, it's a game of numbers. you got to show up to make the money. So let's talk about the closing segment. <clears throat> How to make this money. The money is when you buy the item, okay? It's when you buy the item. I've told you this in previous videos, and that's just like the hustler code. The, the time to make your money is when you buy. Okay, so how can you make money? What are the tips to get the best price? Well, here they are. Here's what you gotta do. So first of all, make money when you buy. I'll say this every single time till you guys make a ton of cash. And I'm sure you guys are making a pretty good amount of cash already. So. You want to bundle items, okay? People at these garage sales, thrifts, you know, yard sales and stuff like that want to get rid of all their crap. So when they see someone come up to them with a lot of crap in their hands saying, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks for all this crap when it might really cost 40, maybe even 50 bucks with all their individually marked prices, they just see all their junk and they see 20 bucks and make sure to show them the money and you might walk away with it. Now they might counter offer and go like 25, 30, whatever. You know what? The point is bundle and ask low, okay? Second, <clears throat> go on thrift specific days. This is like hustler code right here, okay? This is like a store going, hey hustlers, come here on this day, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll tend to you guys. So if you know thrift specific days, that means like certain colored tags or like, you know, senior citizen discount or military discount or uh, student discount, you know, 50% off, go on those days. Because it's just like taking that money and sticking it right in your pocket, you've made it, okay? So thrift specific days, don't forget. Okay, then make offers all the time. When I say this, I say it just as like make casual offers when you're at garage sales and you know yard sales. Also when you're bored at home, get on Craigslist and look at the stuff that you really understand and you really know and start making offers to people, right? People are in really weird, um, you know, like financial situations sometimes. Some people, have, some people have to make rent. Some people have to pay off like a driving, you know, like a traffic ticket or something really quickly. And they're willing to liquidate their item for nothing. Okay. And I can, I know this because I do this all the time. So it's a way for me to make probably an extra, I don't know, 400 to maybe $600 a month just by doing uh, this thing right here, just by doing that. <clears throat> so, um, and then here's another tip, uh, dress down, not up. Okay. Now this is a really interesting tip. Um, because if you dress up like really nice, got a polo shirt and you got some cool like golf gear on, you look like a total golfer or a total rich dude, you know, and you go to these garage shows, you're probably not going to get as good of a deal. Okay. Period. You're not going to. Okay. These guys are looking to extract as much money out of you as possible, um, with the price that's on the item. Now, if you dress down, not up, they'll probably figure out, Hey, this is not, he doesn't have much money. He might be in the same situation like me, blah, blah, blah. blah. You know, I'll give them a better deal. So don't ever dress up for garage sales. Dress down, okay? Don't ever like style your hair all badass and shit. Like dress, uh, yeah, dress down, not up, okay? All right. And then have small bills and show them. All right. So this is very important because you don't want to be whipping. I've done this many times years ago. I'd whip out like stacks of 20s, you know? And you're like, hey, will you take three bucks for that? And I talked them down for like 10. <clears throat> then I whip out a bunch of 20s you just make, you look like a fool, okay? You don't want to look like a fool. You got to maintain some source of, a, some sort of identity to yourself and, uh, you know, keep your self-esteem kind of high. Because if you just are busting out hundreds and 20s and 50s when you're buying stuff that's like 50 cents or like a dollar or like five bucks, you know, you look like an idiot. So have small bills and show them. Show them meaning, hey, will you take five bucks for that $10 item and show them five bucks, okay? Makes a lot of difference. It really does. All right? So that's, when you, that's how you make your money when you buy. Bundle items, go on specific days, make offers all the time. When you're off time, when you're at home, screwing around watching TV or something, get on Craigslist, start making some offers. You'd be surprised. One out of maybe eight or ten are going to come back at you and go, sure, I'll do that. And you'll be like, hell yeah, that didn't take any of my time. Dress down, not up. All right. And then have small bills and show them. Always show them the bills. There you go. Don't make it rain. Just show them the bills. All right. Cool. So that's that. Um, again, if you guys like my videos, please comment down there and uh, give me some thumbs up. And um, if I can help you guys in any way, uh, let me know. You know, private message me. Um, next week's video, don't know what it's going to be. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm going to hustle a little bit. And we'll see what happens. If it's a pretty good hustling day, then, you know, maybe I'll make a video of that. But uh, for the most part, Good luck hustling out there. Stay positive. I'll talk to you guys soon. Comment. All right. See ya.